So continuing with the nakshatras now, we have Magha nakshatra, which is the first nakshatra in Leo. Magha is, um, literally means the mighty or the royal, and it's the first section of Leo where the king is sitting on the throne. And the symbol of Magha is the throne, the royal seat, and that includes the palanquin or the seat that they used to use to carry the king through the kingdom um, on their shoulders. Um, that elevated seat. So this throne and this seat of power is related to Magha and this um, nakshatra, any planets here have that kind of regal bearing and that kind of mighty approach. Now the thing to understand is that the king is not elected, it's not a democracy, the king claims the kingdom through birthright and lineage and heritage and legacy. So these are also very important qualities of Magha and also that section of Leo, which has a sense of entitlement, entitlement to power. Part of us feels entitled to a certain amount of power and dignity and respect and self-respect. And this is a quality of Magha. And it's that part of Leo that knows that underneath it all, we're the king. And we deserve respect and, you know, planets here in Magha, sometimes for good or ill, can demand respect, demand appreciation. You know, certain planets that don't do so well in Leo might have some problem in Magha because of this kind of, you know, you know, bow before the king kind of attitude. And this is a problem when we mistake our power and our real, you know, claim to power to be something of this world rather than something that's more connected to the divine. This is why the Petris, the divine ancestors, are the rulers of Magha. Um, and this is our celestial lineage, our celestial power, and the great teachers that have brought us through eons of time, not just our family in this lifetime. Although the family in this lifetime often becomes important when planets are in Magha, or when someone has, you know, the moon in Magha, or ascendant, or other important planets in Magha, their family lineage and heritage becomes important. And it's interesting, even if you're one who's, who's kind of disavowed your family or who doesn't live really under the thumb of your family very much, kind of like myself, it's interesting when you get a naughty reading, like I had a very good naughty reader do my reading a couple years ago, and it was authentic because they, there's nothing like having someone say the names of everyone in your family and how many kids they have and everything else to let you know that they're speaking the truth, that they know um, you, and that they identify your soul in a naughty reading by identifying your family, identifying your heritage and your lineage. So it's very important, um, the succession of your incarnation and your ancestry. This is all important stuff in Magha, in Leo, where the king is, you know, where the succession of power comes down from your lineage, from the past, and the true past, which is the divine ancestry, that's not just of this world and just of that family, from the Petris, who are the celestial forefathers. So it's good to honor your family when planets are there, and it's good to have, you know, to take that seat on the throne of power, but also to remember that our true power comes from the celestial nature and from the Petris, the divine ancestors. Thank you.